Hey, what's up, dude? So I just got all the fur finished up, and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you kind of what I got going on. Yeah, so I got everything bagged up. These foxes are not mine. I um, <clears throat> I'm putting these foxes up for a buddy, so they weren't in any of the end of the year pictures or anything. I just keep them in here, keep them up. So, and then I've got some stuff. <clears throat> I've got to get all those coyotes worked up, get some baby possums. That freezer has some skunks in it, uh, some whole foxes, some whole badgers, and I'm gonna use those. There's some demos here at the house when we do the cookout. This freezer right here has, I think, 10 or 15 coyotes in it. So, <clears throat> I can walk over here. So yeah, it's got a few coyotes left. So, you know, all the coyotes that you saw in the picture were definitely not all of them, so. That's what I got going on, man. Well, I'm officially in the off season which is uh, refreshing, but that just means that there's a lot of stuff that I have to get done, and I gotta, I gotta start getting it done pretty quick. I'm going to still trap some coyotes and a canine, but I'm also going to probably run a water line for this year. I'll give it a give it a good go, a good shot, and uh, see how many miles, see see what I can do. So uh, I do I do know that I will be doing some uh, partner trapping with Will. I'll be, uh, I'll be I'll be doing like a small water line, and then we'll go out west and we'll do our, uh, we'll do our kayak line out west. But I'm gonna also run a small kayak line, a little smaller kayak line here at home, and, and I'm going to uh, run that water line by myself, so I've got, I've got a lot of stuff I have to get done, and just planning, prepping, uh, executing, it's, uh, it takes time, and I, I'm pretty particular about a lot of stuff. Up, just give me some shit. Give me some shit for it. Yeah, cause I, I mean, although I don't like to mess up, I do I mess up quite a bit. And, you know, you just learn from it. Keep going. So, some of the things that I've messed up on and, um, you know, overlooked when I was canine trapping, I'm going to try and make sure I take my time when I do this water line. said, I'll run the water line. I'm going to try and catch a pile of coon and a pile of mink. And uh, I'll run the coyote line. I'll probably try and catch maybe 50, 75 coyotes here. And then I'll go out, um, go out of state and hopefully catch like 250, 300 coyotes out there. That would be, that'd be the tits. Uh, I think the time frame the water line is going to be a couple weekends, maybe, maybe 
10 days. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to take any vacation time for it. So I'm just going to try and do it weekends and get everything set up. So maybe three weekends, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so nine days. Maybe, maybe if I get a long weekend. Um, I got a bunch of uh, brake rotors and I have a lot of things and stuff. Not really, not more than I probably even need. But for some reason, I just, I can't help it. I'll just, if I can afford it, I'll buy it. say this is off season day one and I'm going to what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take and do a video every day until the beginning of season and then I'll switch it over and I'll do you know first season day one something like that but that you know that is that's my hope I, and my my goal is that I can continue to do a video every day and then talk about trapping, show trapping, and then I'll also do some of like showing my my bait shed and stuff, talking about that, and then like if anyone is trying to learn or wants to learn and they've been having trouble with uh, coyotes or, or fox or bobcat even with water trapping, then I do, you know, and I do have uh, private videos, and I do have a, a website that you can get on and check it out, it, it's, um, it's pretty, it's phenomenal, really, I mean, I, I'm definitely, and I won't um, bullshit you at all, I've definitely been behind on the videos, but this is, like, I was talking to my wife, and I was like, I have to, so really buckle down and start doing this, because... necessary to uh, treat the people the, the way that you know that you said you're going to treat them the way that you would like to be treated so I'm going to <clears throat> really amp up the videos and um, that that's the goal of this so hopefully I can do three master class videos a month and then all the other days
of you know what I got going on and what I've been uh, working on. I have I've worked, I have eight videos that are ready to be uploaded to the master class, but I'm going to just start doing these in, whether it's a ten minute video, five minute video, twenty five minute video, you know whatever it ends up being is what it's going to be. And I'm just going to upload that every day, and then the master class videos. monthly uh, subscription or you can buy just an annual you can buy a yearly subscription uh, and if you buy the yearly it's going to save you months fees if you buy the yearly <clears throat> so instead of paying 12 months you can technically only pay you pay pay less than 11 months so then I thought that would be a, a pretty good benefit for the for the guys that want to just go ahead and say yeah I'm committed for the year it's average it out and it's, it's uh, kind of quirky uh, to even do, but it's like 36 cents a day and if you do the yearly it's going to be cheaper than that, probably like 27 a day. So I've got the videos going, I'm going to be doing the vlogs, I'm going to be going to Hughesville, Pennsylvania in a week, actually eight days. And I'm going to be setting up there. And if, if you're around, seriously, stop in and come see me. I would love, uh, love to chit-chat, honestly, or you know, talk trapping, anything about trapping. Or, I don't care if it's you know, weasel trapping or otter trapping. I don't really want to do uh, beaver trapping. I don't really care. I'll talk anything trapping. I love the discussion. So, but if you're, you know, if you're around... Uh, stop out. I'm going to have a couple uh, flyers from a uh, sponsor, Kevin Klein and Backwoods Trap Supply, so I'm going to have them, uh, some information on them, and if you can stop by and check them out, uh, even if you don't want to get anything from me, just stop by and check, check them out. I'll probably be doing a little uh, free raffle, so I'll have a raffle item, like I'll buy a $100 gift card to Saturday, and you know, all you have to do to enter is just literally just write down your email, a good valid email, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll put you on the email list for the website, and then you know, keep you up to date. That way, you don't have to fill it out. We'll do it, we'll fill it all out for you, and you know, keep you up to date. I'll send out you know a few emails a month. So keep you up to date with anything that I've got going on or anything that I'm doing. <clears throat> if you need bait or lure, and, it, and like if, you know what I'm saying, not then, but if you know you're going to need a good bait and a good lure, then I would definitely check out the catalog that Backwoods has. But I also make my own <clears throat> bait and lure that I use on my, on my trap line.
so I can make the best stuff. But, you know, I, if you do, if you want to get the Apex Predator bait, I've got it. Um, I don't have a whole lot left. When I say whole lot, I probably have... 60 gallons left. So I'm, I'll just bring that around and then, you know, if uh, you know you're going to need bait in the future, you can purchase it, it'll stay good. It's, it's good. It won't, it'll, it'll be fine. It won't uh, pop the jar or use it or nothing. So it's a bobcat bait, base bait. And then the lure is like a gland type curiosity lure. So to stop out, come see me, I'd love to shake your hand and uh, say hi, you know, bullshit a little bit, so, and now I'm going to get my happy ass down the road and get home because I have been awake since like 30, and it's 5.30 now, so I just have to go home and work out. Good time.